guys, we are on to palette number 10 of my 17 unused palettes in my collection series. And I am very excited to be using the Nomad America's Parks palette. Now this honestly was one of the first ones that I planned to use, but I kind of just kept being like, eh, like I, okay. Cause I have a tendency to want to, besides the ones that you guys picked, go for the ones that are most exciting to me. But I was like, well, I need to fit in a few in between there that aren't that exciting. So I'm not just left at the end with all ones that I'm like, Eh, kind of about, you know? So um, this was one that I was saving that I cannot wait to get into. So that is what we are doing today. I figured number 10, that's a good number. That means there's only seven left that, you know, this seemed like the appropriate place for it. So these are the colors. Like how stinking gorgeous are these? Just the imprints and everything and this, the way they did these swirly. I mean, how cool is that? So I thought today we would do a yellow, green, and kind of brown look. I just felt like doing something like that. It's, you know, kind of fallish. It is fallish, whatever. And um, whatever, just kind of see what we come up with with those colors. They just looked pretty. As soon as I opened the palette, that's kind of what called to me. So I was like, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right. So what do we want to talk about, kids? What do we want to talk about? I, um... I'm yet to go on my girls shopping weekend. I don't know why I just did that. That is not the color I wanted to use right there. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that did not happen. I wanted to go into the green, which is called Everglades, and it's right here. Um, I kind of just talked about it in a video that I recorded yesterday too, but I'm actually trying to get a few videos recorded so that I have um, things scheduled through the next week. So the next week, um, today is Tuesday, November 2nd, and we leave on Thursday. So you will be seeing this actually after I get back, but I wanted to have, you know, things already scheduled so I don't have to worry about getting home on Sunday and feeling like, oh my gosh, I need to get something recorded for this week, you know? So um, I think I'm going to have through Wednesday at least done because... If you don't know, I typically do um, uploads Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then my lives on Tuesdays. If you don't know, I have been doing lives on Tuesdays. Um, the time kind of varies because I go to Bible study in the morning, and then depending on what else I have going on, that's kind of what determines the time I go live. Because if I'm going out to lunch with somebody, or I need to get some you know, errands run, or something like that, because the town where my church is, is about half an hour away. That's where all the big stores are. So I try to plan, you know, getting multiple things done in one trip. So um, that's kind of how that works. So I don't have a definitive time. Um, they've been seeming around maybe like two-ish lately. But like I said, it can fluctuate. So I've been putting on Instagram and the community tab when I'm going to be like at least I've been trying to do at least an hour before I'm going live to kind of give people a heads up. So um, on Tuesdays, if that's something you are interested in, please um, watch your community tab or Instagram. I am at DanielleG78. I'll put that on the screen on Instagram. So actually my Instagram, I think is always down in the description box also. So um, you can come over and hang out if you would like, because I have been thoroughly enjoying my Tuesday lives like just getting to chat with you guys in real time like I that's my favorite thing about doing having my channel is like being able to chat back and forth with you guys in the comments and stuff so being able to chat with you in real time is super fun and so I've been very much enjoying that and I think you guys have been too I've got some regulars who are here every time and it's so exciting and then there's those of you who pop in and out when you can and I'm so happy about that as well please don't feel like if you come one time and you like you're afraid to come because then I might notice that you're not there the next time please don't <laughs> think that like I'm just excited for anybody who can pop in sometimes people just pop in and say hey I'm at work but I saw you went live I just wanted to say hi that's awesome that makes me feel very special that you want to take the time to do that so like honestly you guys anytime you take to watch my videos to comment on things anything like that is so special to me and does make me feel very um just cared for you know so thank you for that. All right, now I'm going to go into Old Faithful, which is a yellow there that I tried to start the look out with and I don't know what I was doing. I was talking, that's why my 
my mind's all over the place. Um, I was also saying in the video that you've already seen that I'm excited for my girl shopping trip, but at the same time, dang. Well, and I'm sure I'll talk about this in my live today, so I don't want to talk too much about it because today is Tuesday, so I will be doing a live in about an hour. Um, not when you see this, but <laughs> the day I'm recording. Um, so I will be talking more about the shopping trip stuff coming up, but yeah, things have just been a little overwhelming lately. Not bad though. That's the thing. It doesn't have to be bad stuff for me to be overwhelmed. It can be good things. I just, I mean, that can be for anybody. You can be overwhelmed even by good things. And, um, because I'm someone who gets overwhelmed very easily, it's extra for me. Wait, it's night. My husband was saying something about having the best wife ever or something. I don't know. Something really cute. I can't remember exactly how he said it, but, um, and I was like, oh, really? Like, even though she's a spaz and gets overwhelmed by having to take her kid to the dentist or the orthodontist or whatever, because Asher has an orthodontist appointment. And, um, Brian usually takes them right from school because my husband works at the school. Okay. Now I'm going to go into half dome, which is right here. And, uh, I'm like, I'm just kidding. I'm actually not overwhelmed, with it, but like just things that, you know, typically he does and he's going to be gone. So, um, I'll be doing them and it's really more just him being gone. Not like that. He's not here to do something like that. Like who cares? I can do that. It's not a big deal. Um, I just don't like that my husband's going to be out of town for a couple days before I leave so that then we aren't together for, you know, more time than I want to be. We just, that's the way we are. We like spending time together. We like being together. We don't like being apart. And so, um, we were also talking about that, how that is not the case for so many marriages. Like most people are like, oh, I'd love a break for my spouse. I have literally never felt that way ever. And, um, and he hasn't either, unless he's lying to me, but I don't think he is. Uh, but that's just something we love, you know, and there's so many things where you hear about people once their kids, you know, graduate and move away or whatever, that the couple doesn't have anything common anymore. Like they, you know, everything was kind of just for the kids and work and I'm just going to change brushes. Um, and so that when it's just the two of them, they realize they really don't have, you know, like a good connection and stuff. And um, I'm thankful. I know that will never be the case for us because we love doing everything together. So, um, but yeah, so it does make it hard if he is away or if I'm away. Like, you hate sleeping by yourself. <laughs> so, that's the deal there. These shadows are so pretty. Nomad shadows this is my this is my fourth nomad palette and i love their palettes i actually won this one from them which is super awesome they did an instagram giveaway and i wanted this palette really bad anyway and then i won it they were giving away i think two or three of them and i happened to be one of the winners so that was awesome so thank you nomad for that also the owners of nomad are phenomenal they are like the sweetest people and um it's really cool what they do with their palettes because they get inspired by places that they travel to and then they, um, you know, use different things from those places to create the shadows and they put a lot of work into like the pictures on here. Like, um, Acadia Lighthouse is a lighthouse. The, um, well, Blue Ridge Parkway has a bear and, you know, Old Faithful is a geyser and like, so they put a lot of work into their palettes and how they curate them and everything. It's just really cool. I'm getting a tiny bit of fallout, but actually not. That just wiped right away. It was no big deal. Okay. Now here comes the fun part. It's all fun, but all right. I think I'm going to do this. I think it's Ho Rainforest, H-O-H. I don't, I don't know where that is or whatever, but, um, so anyway, it's this one right here. I just said that very strange. I don't know where that is or whatever. <laughs> Um, oh, I've got something on my finger there. So we're going to get into that. Oh, that's such a pretty green. Look at that. Ooh. -hoo. So we're going to go right over here with it. So kind of mimicking the top, putting the green where I put the green oh, mat there. Oh, it has such a pretty shift too. This is awesome. I haven't done my nails yet. I'm doing those tomorrow before I leave. 
So they're a little long at the moment and kind of driving me crazy because they make it hard for me to get where I want to with my shadow, especially when I get to that more inner corner part. But that's all right. I did get um, a teeth whitening kit that I bought that um, Alyssa Pope had talked about in one of her, of her videos because she has amazingly white teeth and people <laughs> had come to asking her about it. So a while back she did a video and told what she used. So I finally just got around to getting it and I got the one for two people. So it's got two sets of the trays and you do it where you get them, you know, warm, you know, in hot water or whatever. And then you mold them to your um, teeth shape and then put the stuff in it with a syringe or whatever. So. I am going to be doing that. You guys let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. I think I might just record it anyway. And if you say you don't want to see it, then I just won't show it. But because um, I'll probably want to do it before. I'd like to do it before I leave on Thursday, but I don't know if I'll get a chance. Then there is this gold, which is uh, Cuyahoga Valley, which is right here. So pretty. Wow. That shift too. What is that shift? I don't know, see like a... I don't know what I'm seeing exactly. Almost uh, like a little bit of a pinky shift. It's really pretty. This is fun. I'm enjoying this look. <laughs> you know, you never quite know. I mean, I would think by now I should be able to figure out what things are gonna look good together, but I'm no professional. I just, I just play. And thankfully, it's panning out for me right now. Okay, so there's that. I think I'm actually gonna run a shimmer under my lower lash line. I've been kind of enjoying that sometimes lately. So I think I'm gonna do this Teton range because it's this gorgeous brownie kind of color right here. A mixture of browns, I guess I should say. So let's do that. These shadows are awesome. Like I have Berlin Underground was the first um, Nomia palette that I ever got. And then I got the um, Tokyo palette, so it's like pastels. And then I got last year in my um, Advent um, gift exchange from Rena from Boxes and Deals, who she is a huge Nomad lover. She has everything Nomad. So actually, I'm going to link her channel down below. I'll link it up here as well that you can check out if you would like to go. She I, probably has a playlist, I would assume, of Nomad stuff because she has like everything that they've ever made, I think. <laughs> um, but she had sent me the Tuscany palette last year in our um, Advent exchange, which we were doing again this year. So that video will be coming up, I believe, December 15th. So um, that's something that you guys can look forward to. If you saw mine last year, it was super fun. Actually, I will link that video because that is so much fun. And um, yeah, we're doing it this year. Same, Clara, Rena, and I, but also my cousin Debbie, Debutan, is going to be a part of it as well. So um, we wanted her to be last year. She just had a lot going on. So we're super excited that she's joining us this year. Um, but yeah, so that is going to be coming up. And I'm excited to go buy some more stuff for Reno while I'm on my shopping trip. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. That is very pretty. What do I want on the inner corner? Hmm. That is super sparkly. Do I just go with the yellow? I think I do because I'm afraid the other things are going to pull too dark and I don't want to. Unless I can get into Mount Denali here just in the white part. Let's give it a try. See how there's two different shades there? I'm gonna try to just get, since it's such a small brush, into just the light part. See if I can't do something there for the inner corner. Yeah, that'll work. Fun. But yeah, I've had lots of fun stuff going on. And I'm so excited that we are in like full swing of holiday season. To me, once Halloween is done, it's like Christmas all over the place. So when I get home from my shopping trip, so really the week you're seeing this, 
I will be decorating my house for Christmas and I love that. And I told my husband, I'm like, I plan on, since now I'm not working and stuff and I just have more time, I'm like, I plan on totally geeking out for Christmas like I used to do when I didn't work because I'm like, I'm watching all the corny Christmas movies and I'm just, I'm doing all sorts of Christmassy, just the joy that's, I enjoy that so much. And so I'm like, I'm just going all out. He's like, definitely, you totally should. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, lashes and liner and lips and we will be back to finish up. Okay, and here is the finished look. As you can see, I put on some lashes because I thought, why not? I've been thoroughly enjoying lashes lately. Um, oh, I didn't go over a second time on my lower lashes with my mascara though. I do one coat of mascara on upper and lower before I put my fake lashes on and then I usually go back and do a second on the bottom because I like for my lower lashes to stand out too. Um, if you don't know, I did a video a while back, I will link it up here, um, for Pink Zeo lashes, it was a review. You guys, I love these lashes. That's what I have on right now. I have the um, Style Miss Perfect. This is the box they come in. Um, you'll see them more when I come up. But I did five different styles, and I have been wearing these lashes constantly. So um, I'm very happy with them. They did give me um, a code for you guys and everything. It's 30% off, and... Um, it is an affiliate code, so I do make something from it if you do decide to use it. I will link it down in the description box below, but please don't feel like you have to do that. I would never like be like, you need to use my code. Help me make money. It's like minuscule amount of money. I think I get like, do I get three or five percent? I don't know. Um, I don't even remember. But so it's not like I'm like, hey, use this. To help me make money. I, if you want to use it, awesome because it saves you money and it does help me. But if you would rather just go on the site and shop, Totally do that as well. I will not even be upset. In fact, I won't even know. <laughs> All right. On my lips, I'm not sure. I don't typically care for like metallic lips on me, but this is the Melt um, Molten Metal Lip Gloss in the shade 1942. So it looks like this. I like how the packaging, how the um, word is clear and so then you can see I've got stuff all over my nails um and then you can see through there the color too but I just think that's cute but I thought this went really well with this eye look so um you guys can let me know what you think of that it like pretty much perfectly matches the shade I put under my lower lash line but let me come up close and show you the eyes hopefully you can see that gorgeous kind of bronzy brown color under there Love it. And then the lids. I am loving the shifts in those colors, the shimmers. The mattes blend beautiful, beautifully. I wouldn't expect anything less from Nomad. I know when I get a Nomad palette, it's gonna be good. Like, it's just one of those brands you, you can't go wrong with. So um, again, there is the outside of the package, the package and the palette, and then here are the colors inside. Absolutely gorgeous. I think they did an awesome job curating this palette. It's just very pretty earthy tones that I think look gorgeous on pretty much anybody. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. I love the concept of this palette. I love the look that I came up with. Again, the style of lashes, if you're interested in them, is called Miss Perfect. Um, so that they go a little, a little longer at the outer edges. But yeah, I am... Feeling good, feeling good, loving this look. So that was palette number 10. Again, I will have linked down below. It shows you all the palettes, all the 17 in this series. So I will have marked off all the 10 that I've already used. So you can see the seven that are left. And um, if there's one of those seven, I already know one people have been asking for several times is the MAC one. There's a reason I have not done it yet. I actually think it's gonna be my grand finale one because um, it has some other elements with it. And I want to kind of make it, like, I want to do it justice. I want to, like, really do a good job with it. And so um, I thought I would save that as, like, the grand finale. So that is coming. I know if you're like, hello, I've been asking for that. It's coming, I promise. But I just really wanted to make it kind of the grand finale. So you can check out the other ones down there. If there's one that you feel strongly about that I haven't used yet, you can let me know. But, um, yeah, I can't stop looking at this. And I'm going to be honest, almost every time I put lashes on, I feel like I can't, like, when I walk past a mirror or something, I glance at myself because... I, there's just something about wearing lashes that makes me feel just extra feminine, extra pretty. Just, I absolutely love them. So, um, 
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you are enjoying this series i've been getting good feedback on it so i'm happy about that and i do have another series that's coming after the 17 unused palettes that'll be completely different than anything i've ever done and i'm super excited about it i have never seen anyone do this so um i'm hoping like i'm gonna be like just groundbreaking with this idea probably not but but i hope um I hope me just talking about that makes you excited because I'm super excited for it. So um, that might not start until after Christmas. We shall see what happens just because I figure there's going to be a lot of different videos going on during this holiday season. But yeah, I've got a lot of fun things coming up that I'm super excited about that I now have the time to do and it just makes me just giddy and joyful. So I hope that you guys are enjoying it. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.